Welcome to Scarlet's Microventures, episode two. Right, so as I'm sure you can probably see, it's raining. <laughs> it's now Monday, and uh, we're off to. Hey, Scarlet. Oh, you can't see it. Uh, we're off to collect the van. Uh, 400 quid, Oof, just to get the uh, just to get the engine something like. But it had to be done. Had to be done. So, uh, so watch your space. To break down the £390, we've got a service with an engine flush, we've got an oil pressure switch, and an oil level sensor, and all the associated labour. Let's get some fuel. 46.9. Oh, turn this bugger off yet. That's not done. Love it when it does that. Still got this bloody management light on. Yep, engine fault, I hear you. Figure it out, alternator lights on. He's in 23 mile now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should not risk a filter clogging. I'm going to run up the motorway. That's what he said to do. A real quick disclaimer before I go any further. Um, this video isn't sponsored by anyone and there's no affiliate links for any products in this video. So what's just arrived by DPD, which I'm most excited about, is this portable power station, um, which is what I'm going to be using instead of having the hassle of fitting a levy battery and uh, split charge and um, it will charge off solar which is fantastic because uh, I am intending on getting a solar setup at some point but uh, yeah um, I've looked at leisure batteries and stuff and I'm just like you know for me it's a, you know it's a, I'm building a, a weekend camper so I'm not going to be out in it for much longer than a, a couple of days at a time um, without really needing to charge and the lights you know this, this gives 500 watt hours um and the the lights i'm getting are like one watt each um i'm not running a fridge or anything like that just the cables and the book there that's uh looks like a mains charger for it um i'm not i'm not as i said i'm not running a fridge don't need to run a fridge i'm not going to be out that long uh, I've got a cool box which lasts for five days, which is brilliant. Um, so I just wanted something really to power my lights and to recharge my phone and, and camera devices, drone, things like that. So um, I've looked at the reviews of this online, watched a couple of videos on it, and uh, it's just amazing. For, for what that is there, look at that. Um, as I said, it's 500 watts, more than enough power for me. It's portable, which is just brilliant. You can carry it around places. It's just fab. And uh, turn it on there. Look at that there. You've got your battery meter. You've got 60% uh, power in it at this, sec at this second. It's, um, it's got a light on the back. Look at, look at how bright that is. That's, yeah, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but wow, that's kicking out some light like that. Oh, and you can dim it as well. Oh, and it flashes. Oh, that's blinding me a bit. You've got your input there, so you can charge it from your solar. You know, you've got two mains plugs on it. Not that I need to power anything mains at this time. A 12 volt there. You've got 12 volt 3 amps out here, DC out. Don't really know what I'd use them for. Um, switcher between DC and AC here and four USBs so 
what I figured was I can get my lights on one using a using a, a USB uh, hub. Um, you know, I can charge my phone, I can charge my drone, I can charge other batteries. This thing will do it all. It'll do it for a weekend. I can take it out of the camper, which is just amazing. Um, so I can use it portably and, and more importantly, I can store it in the house when I'm at home. So there's no risk of, of anything uh, getting nicked. And um, it's also got a USB-C on it. USB-C, you know, my phone's USB-C, charges loads faster than normal USB. And uh, those are my cables for the solar charge when I get it. And, and most importantly, it'll charge from my cigarette lighter in the car as I'm driving along to places, in the van even, in the car. So yeah, it's not that long, but it'll do the job. It'll do the job, so. Yeah, um, I can't express how excited I am to uh, to get away and get away with this thing. It's absolutely brilliant. As I said, it's called it's called a portable power station, and it's by Power Oak. And as I said, it's 500 watt hours. It says there on the uh, on the old box there. So check them out. I'll be back. Obviously, uh, I need to review this once it's had a bit of use which is probably going to be a bit of a way off because the van's not ready yet although as soon as it is in a fit state to go somewhere I'll, uh, I'll be taking it so uh, yeah, so that's that for now so bonnet the arch it's bonnet yeah is that curtain? yeah it's front bumper yeah it's bonnet yeah roof roof quarter yeah and uh, this door inside this door inside. Yeah. Wicked. And the rear doors. And the rear doors. Inside, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thousand pound? Yeah. Okay. When can you do it? Uh, next week. I mean, I know we're not booking just Monday and you want to start in it? Yeah, I'm going to be leaving it because he's, uh, he's going to be doing something underneath. All right. Uh, do you know r roughly how long? Couple days, three, four days, month. All right. So yeah. by next weekend, say? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I can work with that. Um, when you've done the, the paintwork, I've got me brand new aluminium bars in the back. Do you want to put them on for me? Okay. Just so I don't scratch it when I put them on. Because you're doing the roof, aren't you? What a legend. Well, it's Tuesday and uh, I'm walking again. Yes, so the van is back at Priceless. After being told last night to fill it up and take it up and down the motorway to uh, regen the DPF I did that and I also uh, also added the DPF cleaner and it's not done the trick so I'm returning back they've said there's a, a tank that has fluid in it that squirts the fluid into the diesel and that goes into the DPF and it's that tank that's knackered and he said that as soon as I walked in the other chap not the first chap so um, got to get rid of the engine warning lights can't be driving around with that and I've only got power up till 3000 revs so it needs sorting so it's back with them whilst they've got it they're going to sort out the respray. That's another thousand pound. <laughs> he was like, Are you sure you want to do it? <laughs> you sure you want to spend the money on this car? I was like, Yes, Mario. It's had the money already. And I've only just bought it. So, in for a penny. So, a thousand pound for a respray. Pretty reasonable, I think. Considering the size of the vehicle, it's got to do the roof, the bonnet, wheel arches, there's two arches, front corner. Should come back looking like a new van, which is what I want really. It's going to need some mirrors. The door mirrors are smashed on it. Uh, so again, just to finish tidying it up, I'll put some mirrors on it. But it's going to be out now with them, 
until the 12th of March. Today is the uh, today is the 1st of March. So we've got a car now for the next 12 days. Can't do anything with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I can't wait to see it when it's done. The aluminium roof bars have come. So um, they're going to fit them once they've done the paintwork. So again, it'll uh, come back hopefully looking like a nice new van. He did suggest that I uh, cut my holes in it before he did his paintwork, which I've not taken his advice. So I may love to regret that, but why not? I've uh, fucked everything else. So let's see how it plays out. And that brings us to the end of another week of Scarlet's Microventures. Come back in a couple of weeks for episode 3. The van is due back on the 12th of March. And hopefully I'll be able to actually get some work done. Because so far, other than stripping out the cab, putting in the dash cam, stripping out the floor, I've not achieved a great deal. <laughs> so let's hope, come episode 3, we have no more engine management lights. We've got a beautiful looking van and we can actually start to get to work. And maybe, just maybe, the star of the show, Little Scarlet, will put in an appearance. Pop us a like if you've enjoyed the video. We'd love to get some comments, uh, hear what you think of it. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.